How's that for a throwback? Hello guys, how are you today? My name is David Franco. Today is October 13th, 2020. The biggest iPhone event in recent history just wrapped up. Of course, it was another, you know, virtual event because of COVID. Thanks, COVID. But seriously, it was it was a great event, solid all around. Um, we got the iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro Max, HomePod mini, and of course, MagSafe. Whew. What a nice surprise. Okay, so for today's video, I figured why not take advantage of my brand new iMac 2020. I'm loving this computer. I'm just trying to get a lot of usage out of it. So in other words, why even bother sitting in front of my camera back there? Yeah, the quality is going to be better. I want to get depth of field, better lighting and all that stuff. But no, 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 no. Let's zoom out for a bit. See, look at this. Let's mix things up. Let's do a live reaction going through Apple's websites and basically just showing all the features of everything that was announced today. Now, of course, I saw pretty much everything already, but I've barely, barely explored what's new on the website. Uh, so I think this is going to be a great way to recap the event in a more natural manner. Anyway, jumping right into the website. Wow, Apple, that is a cool effect. Not only is it extremely distracting, but it's Beautiful, like just pulsating, absolutely pulsating in my face. Now let's go full screen here just so it looks better for you guys. So yes, the HomePod mini is official. I believe it's $99. Let's see here. Yeah, $99 for space gray or just flat out white. And I gotta say $99 is a really good price. Okay, so yes, I realize you can get something a lot cheaper from Amazon, but that's not the point. A a Apple's always been a more of a premium company. So in my opinion, $99 for the HomePod mini, it's not bad at all. And I gotta say, it's beautiful. I really like how the Siri light up functionality, which already looks amazing on the HomePod, by the way. I have two of them in my living room. I love how the um, Siri light up feature, here we go, kind of fills the HomePod, so it's like a puddle of light in a way, if that makes sense, as I hit my desk. I promise I'm gonna be getting a mic arm for my Blue Yeti in the near future. But um, yeah, so this is basically a smaller HomePod. Was it needed? I don't know, because I feel like Apple's market share isn't really worth talking about when it comes to the HomePod, but maybe this is their answer to that. Maybe this is their way of putting you know, a more affordable smart speaker in people's living rooms and bedrooms and whatever. And plus it ties in seamlessly, seamlessly with Apple Music. So it's kind of a no, no brainer situation, if you will. I mean, come on, $99, it's not bad. I, I don't really know what else to say, guys. I'm literally <laughs> looking for things to say. Will I be buying one? Probably, honestly, probably. I wouldn't mind having one like on, on my desk here or even then I'm thinking about moving the two home ponds from my living room into here, my office, once I get some new furniture and then maybe the home pod minis will go somewhere else. But then again, if I get the home pod minis, then there's no reason to move the home pods and we'll see. We'll see. Quiet discord. Do not disturb. So of course it's got Siri functionality. Hey Siri, blah, 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 blah. I do have Siri on my uh, iMac. Let me test it real quick. Hey Siri, what time is it? Oh, Yoko's already listening to me. That's a That's nice, nice song. song. <laughs> what the fuck? It's because I said, hey, blah, blah, blah before. Hey Siri, what time is it? Okay, my HomePod just triggered. It's 2.45 p.m. That's so interesting. So my iMac waited for my HomePod to trigger because I guess the iMac assumes I want to hear it as well. That's one area I think all of these companies could improve in. Make these speakers more aware of how close you actually are to these devices. For example, my iPhone 12 is here. I'm, I, don't, I don't have an iPhone 12. My iPhone 11 Pro Max is right here. And obviously these both have Bluetooth. So there's no reason why the iMac shouldn't know I'm right here with my phone right next to me, which means I'm right next to the iMac, so it should trigger Siri only on this device and not my HomePod. 
So yes, I mean, like this isn't an Apple only situation. This this goes for every company, whether you were talking about Amazon or Apple or whoever. Um, I think it needs to be improved. But um, yeah, so there you go, HomePod Mini. Oh, and by the way, these can play in sync with other HomePod Minis, which I think is great. That's really, really cool to know. Uh, I mean, of course, it's nothing new when you compare it to Amazon, but hey, the fact that Amazon um, inspired Apple in a way is kind of a big deal. Okay, honestly, the HomePod Mini is not that exciting to most people, but to me, it's kind of exciting. Okay, iPhone 12, obviously the biggest focus of today's event. Gotta be honest, right off the bat, 5G does not excite me, really, like, at all. At all. As someone who works from home and is on Wi-Fi, like, 99% of the time, I don't see the need for 5G for me right now. Now, I'm not saying 5G is bad. Obviously, I'm a tech geek. I mean, I, I crave better tech. I crave faster tech. I crave... I, I, yeah, I crave. I crave... I crave better performance. So obviously 5G all around is gonna be a good thing. Like it's a very, very good thing. I'm just saying, I think there's a little too much hype. I mean, look at this, 5G speed, OMG. Okay, Apple, calm down, calm down. I mean, it, it's cool, but it's not that big of a deal. The last time I got so excited over increased speeds, like, you know, mobile data speeds, is when I went from edge to 3G. Back then, that was a huge deal. But since then, I, will, I, I don't know, I've never really been excited about going to 4G or an LTE or now 5G. Is it just me? I'm not trying to be negative. I'm a very positive thinking person. I'm just more realistic, you know? Like 5G is cool, but I don't think it's a reason to run out and buy the new iPhone. Um, unless you're absolutely due for an upgrade, because I will say these new iPhones are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They're definitely a kind of a throwback to the iPhone 4 and iPhone 5 designs, which I'm a big, big fan of. I loved my iPhone uh, 4S and my iPhone 5S, both beautiful phones in my opinion. And this is definitely a throwback to that design. So we have the iPhone 12 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR display, um, as well as the iPhone 12 mini. So this is a really big deal. You get it, big mini? Seriously though, iPhone 12 mini 5.4 inch Super Retina display. Some people like smaller phones. Like you'd be surprised at how many people out there are still using something like the iPhone 6S. So you have to look at it from their perspective. If they still want a smaller phone, but all the new features of today's phones, like you know, fast performance, better cameras, all, like just all around a better device, but the same size or at least a similar size, then the iPhone 12 mini is going to be perfect for that kind of user. Now for someone like me and most likely someone like yourself, it's too small. I mean, I'm fine with the iPhone 12. I mean, honestly, the Pro Max, in my opinion, is a little too big. So I think next year I'm gonna get the regular size iPhone again. But then probably a year or two after that, I'm gonna go back to the Max iPhone. I don't know, I just kind of go back and forth. Okay, so going back to the um, whole iPhone 12 mini and 5G relation, this is apparently the world's smallest, thinnest, lightest 5G phone. I mean, look, look how tiny that phone is. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and of course we do have ceramic shield on all of the new iPhones, which is a big deal. Um, you get four times better drop performance. Let's find out how, shall we? Oh wow, this, this is actually kind of new for Apple to do, like a pop-up like this. Uh, so we get nano scale ceramic crystals, blah, 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 dual ionic shiny engine. It's stronger guys, it's stronger. So, uh, I mean, Maybe with that said, you should stop dropping your phone so much. Just saying. Aerospace grade aluminum edges, beautiful design, all that good stuff. I will say it looks really good in blue. It looks beautiful in green. It looks beautiful in red. It looks beautiful in white. It looks beautiful in space gray. Blah blah blah. Eleven trillion operations per second. This this is marketing stuff right here. And um. Yeah, we still have OLED display, which is always good. Like I love OLED pure blacks. You just cannot beat pure blacks. However, with that said, Apple, let's go over to the iPhone 12 Pro, shall we? Let me let me look around here. Let me look around. I, I don't see anything that mentions a pro motion display. In other words, 120 hertz refresh rate. Mm, nothing, nothing. Apple, you're killing me. You're killing me, dudes. Maybe next year. 
So for those who are not aware, the average display you're looking at, for instance, my iMac right now, is 60 hertz. Like it's a beautiful display, but it's still stuck at 60 hertz, as is my iPhone 11 Pro Max. But when you go to anything above 60 hertz, you will, if, if you have good eyes, that is, you will notice a huge, huge, huge difference. Like I am someone who craves better tech. And believe me when I say, excuse me, I, I just had a bunch of coffee. There is such a big difference going from 60 hertz to 120 hertz. And my monitors upstairs, all three of them for gaming are 144 hertz. And let me tell you, it is a beautiful thing. Even the iPad Pro, not this iPad Pro, but my other iPad Pro um, had 120 hertz. I mean, you know, the ProMotion display. Just beautiful tech, incredible. Android's had it for a little while, so I can only assume Apple's going to give it to us in the near future. Okay, so anyway, let's let's just focus on what the iPhone 12 Pro does have. Obviously, it's a big deal. We got A14 Bionic, blah, 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 better cameras, better processing, all that stuff. Less bezel, more screen. So the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a little bigger. Um, we're now at 6.7 inches. And of course, the regular iPhone 12 Pro is 6.1 inches. Kicks glass. I get it, Apple. I get it. It's funny. I like that. And I will say, it's a beautiful design. I love the stainless steel. Absolutely love the stainless steel. Just beautiful. But of course, that stainless steel is probably going to be covered by a case if you got to be realistic, you know? So, yeah, and of course, uh, we have these four colors, so pretty cool. 5G. That's fun. That's fun. All these specs. LiDAR technology doesn't do anything for me, honestly. We do get night mode on all the cameras now, so that's cool. Very nice. And, um, yeah. There you go. Okay. Ironically, this is probably the most exciting thing Apple's announced today, at least from my perspective, I mean, I'm, I'm not getting the iPhone 12, so this quite literally doesn't apply to me personally, but from a tech perspective, I think this is really exciting. So basically, Apple's taking the MagSafe technology that we have on something like the Apple Watch and applying it to the iPhone 12. We've all been there, you know? We all have these wireless chargers like I do. I have one, two, three, four wireless chargers now, I believe, maybe five. And there's always that moment where you place your phone on it, and then you realize it's not charging right. I thought I put this on Do Not Disturb. Honestly, iOS, what are you doing to me right now? Anyway, we've all been there. How we not? I mean, it happens to me at least once a week when I go to bed, I put my iPhone on my wireless charging dock, and sometimes it just doesn't sit right, and I have to jiggle it until it gets right. I'm like, okay, thank you. Just charge. It's not that big of a deal. Just charge my phone. So this could be cool. MagSafe charger. Um, kind of magnetically attracts to the iPhone 12 because it's kind of built in magnets and all that stuff, obviously protection, blah, 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 blah. And um, yeah, it's going to make charging on your iPhone even easier and kind of more fun in a way. And of course, Apple being Apple released all these accessories. This is kind of weird. iPhone 12 mini clear case with MagSafe. Why does the back have a ring like that? Hmm. Interesting. I don't know about that design choice. It's, it's kind of weird. But it looks kind of cool at the same time. I don't know. I don't know. But I will say I just prefer, like if I was to get the iPhone 12, um, I would just go for the simple MagSafe connector and nothing else. And by the way, um, is this USB-C? It looks like USB-C, yeah. Pretty sure it's USB-C. Okay, anyway, I'm done, guys. I'm done. This video is an absolute mess. Overall, though, it was a good day. It was a good day. Don't really have any complaints besides the lack of um, 120 hertz. Why is this not full screening, right? The cutoff's really right there? Apple, in my opinion, you got, you got to do something about that. Um, yeah. So exciting day, nothing I'll be buying because again, I got the newest iPhone last year, but I'm more of a Mac guy anyway when it comes to these announcements. Like Macs, in my opinion, are so much more exciting 
For instance, I bought this brand new iMac just a few weeks ago, um, and I, I'm, I'm loving it. Like, I want more Mac announcements, and I think we're going to get some Apple Silicon announcements before the end of 2020, so we'll, we'll just have to be patient. But for now, I'm happy. For anyone getting the iPhone 12, enjoy. Very, very solid updates all around. I'll say it again, 5G doesn't excite me too much right now, but who knows, that could change in six months. That could change in a year. But you have to look at it from my perspective. I'm not your average consumer. I work from home. I'm always on Wi-Fi. So to me, 5G is not a huge deal. It's just not a huge deal. But I can see why it's a huge deal to most people. So I'll just end my video with that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section right below. What are you buying? Are you buying the HomePod Mini? Oh wait, yeah, I am I am buying something from today's announcements, the HomePod Mini. But with that said, I'm not buying the iPhones, of course, and I'm not buying the MagSafe, but I am buying the HomePod Mini. So let me know, what are you buying from today's announcements? What was your favorite thing that they announced? And what was one thing they did not announce that you wanted to say? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you soon.